Introducing says the sentry mode, your car's built-in bodyguard who never sleeps. With cameras on all sides, it spots everything, from shady characters to Karen returning her shopping cart a little too close. If you get too close, the Eye of Sauron appears on the screen, surrounded by a pulsating red ambient light bar. Well done, Krim. You're off to jail. We all know there are cameras watching our own move. In the UK, there's a roughly 7 million CCTV cameras, equating to one camera per 11 people. However, in the US, there's roughly 50 million CCTV cameras. That's roughly seven people per camera. However, in this broken world of rising crime and the who is to blame culture, protecting your own assets must be just as important as deleting your browser history. Welcome to a lonely Tesla parked at night. This area could definitely attract a hardcore criminal. Who knows, we might see one in action. Oh my golly gosh, here comes one right now. Let's see what the car is going to make of this. Okay, guys, breathe easy. There's nothing to worry about. Uh, everything is saved to the in-car USB, which is then easily transferable onto any kind of PC or anything like that. Live footage via the app is also available at all times while the car is parked. Upon returning to the car, the owner would immediately get an in-car notification asking if they want to view any sentry mode activations. So we can see the system's brilliant, but what about its battery usage? Of course, this will depend on which Tesla you own and the size of its battery. So for the next test, we're using my UK 2024 Tesla Model 3 Performance. This is the one with the LG battery pack and a usable size of 74 kilowatt hours. For this test, the car was parked at home and Sentry was turned on constantly for 24 hours. The battery was not plugged into charge at any point. There's no interference, no camera activations. It was purely recording. And here are the results. For one hour, we started with 163 miles or 55% and finished with 162 miles and still 55%. We're seeing no change in percentage due to 1% in this car equates to fractionally under 3 miles. Now for 2 hours, starting again with 163 miles or 55%, for this time finishing with 160 miles, which has shown up as a 1% usage of battery. For 4 hours, we started with 112 miles or 38% and finished with 108 miles, meaning we've used 4 miles of range or 2% of the battery. Eight hours was the same starting as four hours, but this time finishing on 105 miles, meaning we've used seven miles of range or 3% of the battery. Now on to 12 hours, starting with 123 miles left or 42%, and finishing with 111 miles or 38%. Okay, and finally, an entire 24 hours of Sentry just spying on the neighbors, starting with 123 miles or 42%, and finishing with 101 miles or 34%. Right, let's stick all that information into a graph so it's easy on the eyes. The results. The percentage of battery uses on the y-axis and the hours tested on the x-axis. To put this all in perspective, 8% of my battery, which is just under 6 kilowatts. If you've watched the efficiency video, you'll know that that equates to 20 miles covered at 70 miles an hour. So it is quite a lot. Extrapolating this further, we would expect to see after two days, 16% of my battery being used, three days, 24%, and four days, 32%. So this starts to become quite a lot of battery used. So if you do find that your battery is depleting faster than you'd like it or faster than expected, make sure that sentry mode is not running all the time. In conclusion, if you ever walk close to a Tesla and find the headlights pulsing at you, the car isn't flirting. It's warning you to be very, very careful. Thanks for watching, folks. Catch you at the next one. Any suggestions of what you want me to do, put them in the comments below. Ciao.